Today is a recipe day. I'm gonna make a crock pot chicken a la king. I got three large chicken breasts in here that I'm gonna take off some of the excess fat and chop up, cube up. You can put these in the crock pot whole with everything else and then shred them later. I'm just gonna chunk them up now. An onion, I'm putting a can of mushrooms in. The recipe I had did not call for a can of mushrooms, but I like mushrooms. Uh, the recipe, this is what the recipe called for and this is what I'm doing. These chicken breasts are huge. So they're, they're, they're huge chicken breasts. And the recipe called for one can of cream and chicken soup and a cup of broth. I'm gonna put in two cans of soup, cream of mushroom and a cream of chicken and a can of broth. And it calls for 26 ounces of frozen vegetables, but I got two 16 ounce packages. So I have 32 ounces of vegetables. And this is all gonna go in the crock pot to cook up. If it's thin, when I check it later, I can always add a little cornstarch slurry. If it's too thick, I can add some more broth because I have another can of broth. Um, and this is gonna be served over biscuits, which dad's job is gonna be to open this. I'm 45 years old and these things still scare the crap out of me. So now I'm gonna have some breakfast. But that is my layout for the day. Okay, now you want to spray your crock pot with some cooking spray. Sorry, that was loud. Okay, oop, I kind of got my belly too. All right. Now I want to dump in my chicken. Is that all of it? Yes. Dump in my onion. Okay, dump in my vegetables. Hang on, I wanna do this off camera, hang on. Okay, vegetables all in. I'm gonna pour in my mushrooms. Then we're all in there. And I'm gonna stir this all up with my big honking spoon. Get it all kind of mixed together. Okay, I got a little bowl out and put both my mushrooms, cream of mushroom soup, cream of chicken, and now I'm gonna pour in my can of chicken broth. And I'm gonna stir all this together and then pour it into my crock pot. Okay, let's pour the soup and broth in here. Stir it all up. And then put it on, I'm gonna put it on high uh, for about an hour and a, almost two hours and then we'll put it on low because I'll turn on low when we get ready to go to the funeral home because we have to go to the funeral home today so because this this particular crock pot it's a Hamilton Beach cooks really really hot I mean even sometimes on low it's almost too hot I have to put it down and warm but so yeah this is gonna go on for a couple hours and we're gonna turn it down we're not gonna have it till tonight so that is what's up right now there it is all mixed up. It's really kind of like just what's inside of a pot pie and you serve it over. Or you can serve it on mashed potatoes, toast, biscuits. So, okay, we're going to go put this on. We just got home and this is a little watery. So I'm going to add in another can of cream of chicken soup. And then put a little slurry of cornstarch in there. Thicken up more like a gravy-ish type thing. Goodbye, biscuits. They're gonna go in there for about 15 minutes according to the package. Bye-bye. It's looking much better. It's looking a lot like a gravy. Dad's in there on the phone, so if you hear him, he's he's ranting about something. But now we gotta wait 15 minutes. We gotta cook another 15 minutes while the biscuits are baking. There is my plate with my biscuits and my stuff on it. We had, we got radishes and onions. We have a little bit of mashed potatoes left from the other day, so I got them out too. We'll try it here in a minute. Dad's over there getting his all set up. I can smell the pepper. It can make me sneeze. You gotta have pepper, it ain't no damn good. No pepper, no good. Now we gotta do the infamous try it and see if you give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. What say you? Thumbs up. Now we're going to enjoy our dinner. Hope you give it a try.